Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to iterate with JavaScript do while loops. Uh, you can run the same code multiple times by using a loop. The next uh, type of loop you will learn is called a do while loop because it first will do one pass of the code inside the loop no matter what and then it runs while a specified condition is true and stops once that condition is no longer true. Let's look at an example variable r array is equal to an empty array and then we set an index to zero we say do so r array dot push and then we push on to an empty array we're actually pushing on zero because i is set to zero and then we add so i is set to uh, to one at this point and so while i is less than five so it's already ran through here and we've already got the zero pushed onto the array while i is less than five we're going to keep going so this one's actually going to go zero one two three four and then it's going to come down here and then the i will become 5 at this point, and then while i is less than 5, this becomes false, and then we exit out of the array, and our array is equal to this setup here. This behaves just as you would expect with any other type of loop. The resulting array would look like that. However, what makes do while different from other loops is how it behaves when the condition fails on the first check. Let's see this in action. Here is a regular uh, while loop that will run code uh, in the loop as long as i is less than 5. i is less than 5, uh, we, i is equal to 5, and say while, for the, while i is less than 5, this wouldn't run at all, our array would still be empty. So notice that we initialize the value of i to be 5. When we execute the next line, we notice that i is not less than 5, so we do not execute the code inside the loop. The result is that our array will end up with nothing added to it, so it will look something like an empty array when all the code in the example above finishes running. Now let's do, let's take a look at the do while loop. In this situation, we set the variable equal to i, and then we go, we push in the uh, i, which is equal to five, and, and then we set i becomes equal to six, and then while six is less than five, well, that's not true, so false, and then we exit. In this case, we initialize the value of i at five, just like we did with the while loop. When we get to the next line, there is no check for value of i. So we go to the code inside the curly braces, we will add one element to the array and increment i before we get to the next condition check. Then we get to the condition, i is less than five, and we see that i is now six. So this is just saying the same thing I just explained. So we next, so we exit the loop and are done. At this point, at the end of the example, our array is five. So the difference is that you run it once before you even check to see if it's, uh, it's uh, worth doing again. Uh, ensures that code inside the loop will run at least once. Let's try a do while loop. We want to change this while loop in the code to a do while loop so that the code so that the loop will push the number 10 to my array and i will be equal to 11 when your code finishes running. Okay, so cool. This is uh I got to say we exit out there, but I just saved it down to the bottom and then we can say while i is less than 5 and I'm pretty sure that that is everything we need to do on this one. Cool, so that passes. Yeah, um, if we were to console.log my array, you'll see that it's 10. Let me think about this. Okay, so it's 10 when we do it like that, and what happens if I undo this and we console.log my array? It becomes this empty value, right? But when we redo it all, oh, can I do it? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to re retype it. So right now my array becomes um, is a nil nil value. But if we do this, we see that even though the code won't run again, we still get the initial value where we push on the index of i. If we were to console.log i at this point, i would be equal to 11. And that uh, 11 is less than 5 is false, so it doesn't continue to run. Anyways, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.